Steve Dornbush. Mm -hmm. uh, the church is Calvary Lutheran Church, Golden Valley. Uh, I've been here a little over 13 years. A number of years ago, uh, when the ELCA was going through what at the time were two different sexuality task force studies, um, Calvary made uh, a decision, it's, our church council made the decision, that regardless of what the outcome of the studies were, or what the recommendations were, and regardless of what the ELCA would do, that Calvary would continue to teach a more traditional conservative approach to sexuality. But even so, the decision the ELCA made, even though it wasn't unexpected, I think affected people more deeply than, than they maybe thought it would because it was kind of like, well, there are all these things we disagree about and, and there always will be things we disagree about, and, but we can live together certainly and we can just agree to disagree. But I think for a lot of people, this was the issue that kind of the tipping point. It's been very, very difficult, and I think it's been very difficult in every church because it's one of those issues where it's very difficult to find a middle ground and where everybody can agree. And I think in every congregation, and I, I don't want to say it, maybe I shouldn't say every congregation, but I think in most congregations, whether they're talking about it overtly or not, people are making decisions and um, people are deciding either I'm going to stay or I'm going to leave based on where I think my church is and whether I think that's where our, my church should be. And we're cert I mean, that's certainly happening here. And that's, I mean, that's painful in every church because you have people that, um, that misinterpret your actions and, and feel, uh, feel like you know, you're being unloving or uncaring. Uh, or you know, on the other side, people that feel like you're you're being uh, faithful to the biblical witness or not, you know, and and so these feelings go deep and and it's painful. And we have certainly lost people, and we have gained people. Um, and where it will all shake out in the end, I I, I don't know. I, but once that decision was made, then we found ourselves responding to it in a number of ways. Um, we did uh, early on cut off funding for the ELCA uh, and we appointed a task force to look at the issue and this was a task force of 10 former presidents. But they came with a unanimous recommendation and the recommendation was to, to find a new way of relating that, that we feel is more of a partner relationship. Now, not everybody at Calvary in a sense, kind of believes it. They kind of say, you know, well, that's just a smoke screen, you know, and once we take the second vote, that won't happen. Well, I've, I've had conversations with, with our own bishop here. I've tried to have conversations with our national bishop, uh, and I've not received a, a response yet from him, but I would love to sit down with him and say, what might this look like? Now, I think right now the ELCA is, in, in terms of the national church, is a bit in a defensive posture and kind of, you know, uh, I don't think they're maybe ready to talk about new ways of relating. But I, I really believe that this is going to be a kind of a, a, a paradigm that, as, as time goes on, is going to become more and more common and is going to make more and more sense for people. And I think it's in the ELCA's best interest to say, we want to explore new ways of relating to congregations. We're trying to, to say, you know, that uh, we're going to do everything we can to let people know we're, we, we love and care about every single person. Um, and, and every single person is welcome here at Calvary. Um, but I also know that we've had people leave that have said, you know, Steve, if you're going to take a more conservative stand on this issue, then just as you said, I can't go there. I need to. I need to make a different decision, um, and I think you know that's what's going to happen in a lot of churches. And when maybe that dust settles a little bit, maybe we can um, do what we all want to do, and that is do the mission that we're we've been called to, and not spend our time talking and arguing about this particular issue.